everyone and welcome to the learning ladder. Today I thought I'd do my essentials for homeschooling video. Um, I mentioned it in one of my planning videos that I was going to do this. However, I just want to preface it by saying you don't have to have any of these products. They're just things that I really love having and um, make things so much easier. But you can totally don't have to have them. And for a long time I didn't have any of them either. So it shows you that you don't have to have them at all. But in case you are on the hunt for some items that really make a difference, um, the first thing for me is a whiteboard. I absolutely love my whiteboard. If it's magnetic, that's even better, but it doesn't have to be. Um, I use it for everything. I use it for math, language arts. My daughter likes to draw on it. We just use it for so many different things. Um, I just got one off, off of Amazon, but obviously there are tons of places you can get them from. Mine's, I'm just looking at it now, has lasted really well. Um, and it has just been fantastic and I would highly recommend them but again you don't have to have one the other thing that I absolutely adore this is probably my favorite thing of all of these items is my Epson EcoTank printer um, I spent so so much on ink cartridges before I got my EcoTank printer they, it's just life-changing in terms of how cost-effective it is um, it, uh, instead of having cartridges it has reservoirs on the side where you just buy ink which is very inexpensive when it's not in a cartridge off of Amazon. I do buy the genuine Epson ink, I always have, but it's not expensive at all. It's seven pounds uh, for a bottle and that can last for 4,000 prints. It's just amazing. And you just pour the ink directly into the reservoir. The, you can see on your, um, well, you can look at the reservoir to see how much is in there, but every time you print, well, my model anyway, it comes up and shows you how much is left in the reservoir anyway on the screen. So you can see clearly how much you've got left, but it just lasts and lasts and lasts. It's amazing. And that is so my favourite item. Uh, when I got my model, I only got the one that prints um, one-sided. Um, you can manually make it print two-sided, but I think there are newer models now that do it automatically. And that I would go for that one personally. Um, but I absolutely love my EcoTank and long may it last. <laughs> um, the next item is my laminator and I had the same laminator from pre preschool up until, when did it break? I think it was last year, um, or was it this year? No, it was this year, second grade. So the first model lasted for ages. I got my new model this year, it actually just blew up while I was laminating. <laughs> um, just a gigantic bang and um, smoke. But yeah, so <laughs> it, but I, I worked that thing to death, so I'm not really surprised. But I absolutely adore my laminator. It makes uh, dry erase, easy it makes things last if you've got multiple kids um if you just want something to look nice uh, for display purposes there's so many things that i use my laminator for and i absolutely adore it the next thing is some kind of storage system for your workbooks um you know your student your child's uh, textbooks whatever they're using i um started with just my rainbow cart um, and i use that for pre preschool pre-k for and I've still got it now, um, but I used it for those two years exclusively. However, I have now added the Trofast system, um, which I love. Um, but any kind of storage system where you can put all of their everyday supplies in terms of you know their books and everything else, it, it will it'll just make organizing so much easier for you. But again, a storage box that works just as well. You know, you don't have to go out and buy you know this pretty rainbow colored um, storage system. But it's an option, obviously, if you can. Um, but just having a set place where everything goes and your child knows where everything is so they can, you know, have some independence as well to get things out. Um, and it just makes you feel much more organised. And when you feel organised yourself, I think it helps with everything. So your presentation and everything else um, when you're teaching. The next item is my banning machine. I only got that, I think it was in first grade. So I went a long time without having one. Um, so you definitely don't have to have one at all, but it is a really good investment, especially if you use things that you print. So if you use any kind of PDFs, which I do, um, then it's a, an amazing item because if, like myself, you didn't have one and you take them to your stationery store, it all adds up over time because I think it's five pounds or so here to get something bound. And obviously you've got to drive there as well. So you've got your petrol. Um, so in the long run, Yes, you have that initial outlay, but I think it pays back very quickly, um, especially if you do lots of PDFs or anything like that. Um, the next item is just something to do with you, and it's not something you can buy. It's just something you have to work on maybe sometimes because everybody doesn't have everybody has bad days. But that's your enthusiasm. Um, 
I think when you're excited and you're motivated, then it channels down. Um, and that's just something that, you know, as I said, everyone has their bad days, um, but you just have to try and push forward and present everything is with enthusiasm. That's how I personally feel. Others may disagree, but I think your attitude really does help, um, especially when you're teaching when you're teaching children they pick up on so many different things and you know everybody has their worries everyone has their concerns and everything else and at this time of year well not this time of year but you know this season of life in terms of everything that's going on outside of the home but when you come into your little space wherever you are whether it's on your sofa your kitchen table your schoolroom, try and focus on you know the fun the enthusiasm and that will channel down and it will really help with teaching that's just my opinion um you may differ uh, and that's entirely up to you but I do definitely think that a positive mentality positive attitude really does help and being flexible as well because not everything's going to be smooth sailing your child has their own um, needs and wants and everything else and it's not always going to be they're not always going to be wanting to come to school that, um, you know if they're busy doing something else so you, the positive attitude really does help um, but being flexible as well and, and understanding that they're a human being too they have feelings um, and you need to respond to that too so being flexible in your attitude if something's not working try something else brain breaks everything else just um, be flexible as much as possible and um, I think you will do really well but as I said those are just my my favorite things um, none of them are essential apart from I think the last one personally. I do think that's really important. Shadow is just running around like a loon down here. <laughs> She's having her, we call it the zoomies, the kitten zoomies where she goes crazy. Um, but yes, those are everything in my little uh, list today. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you've got any questions, leave them below. I won't list products because every, you know these items you can find anywhere. And you know there's nothing, I don't think there's any one particular thing that would stand out above others but if you do want any of the links to any of the items then definitely let me know I do have my binding machine in a video on here anyway still use the same one um, but if you want any of the other links to any of the other items I've mentioned then definitely let me know and I'll be happy to post them take care and I'll see you on the next video bye for now